Now that we're somewhat familiar with what a polynomial is and how it acts and the characteristics, what we're going to be doing are some different operations with polynomials. The first one is adding. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to add two or more polynomials. All right, when we're adding polynomials, we will simpl simply um, drop the parentheses, if there are parentheses in the problem, because the parentheses are just there to separate the different polynomials, and then we will combine like terms. So, um, in this first example, I'm going to put a 3, and I'll just put a 4x there, and an 8, and a 2. Okay, notice they're not all in standard form, and that's okay, but we have three different polynomials. We're going to drop the parentheses, so if you just want to scribble them out, they don't really mean anything because we're adding. So you can just pretend like they're not there. And then we're going to add like terms. I'm going to start with the highest power. So the highest power I see in the problem is 5x cubed. So there's a 5x cubed here. And then there's also not one in the second polynomial, but there's one right here. So we're going to combine those. So 5x cubed minus 1x cubed is going to be 4x cubed. Notice the highest power stayed as 3. So I'm done with those two. Okay, then I look inside my first set here. My next one is 2x squared. I have a 3x squared here and a 4x squared here. And so since they're all squares, I have 2x squared plus 3x squared would be 5x squared plus 4x squared would be 9x squared. And it is a plus 9x squared because that answer was positive. And then I'll cross those out. And notice since they were all squares, they stayed squares. All right, the next one would just be an x. I have a 4x and a minus 4x. So 4x minus 4x would just drop out and give me 0, so I don't even need to write anything for that. And then my last one I have minus 3, that was a minus, minus 3 plus 8 minus 2. So minus 3 plus 8 is 5. 5 minus 2 is a positive 3, so I will put plus 3. So that would be the simplified polynomial. Alright, the second one, let's put an 8x there. And on the second one, let's put a 3. And so now what we're going to do again, the parentheses, if you just want to scribble them out or you could rewrite it, I suppose. We don't need them because we're just adding the polynomials. I'm going to start with the highest power, which is a squared. So 2x squared and a 1x squared. Adding those together would give me 3x squared. Notice the highest power stays a 2. It doesn't become a 4 or anything like that. Okay, then my next part is going to be I have an 8x and a 1x, so 8x plus 1x will give me a positive 9x, so I have to put the plus sign there. And then my last one I have minus 5 and a positive 3, so that will give me minus 2. And that is how you add polynomials.